It's round seven in Super Rugby AU, and the race to the playoffs continues tonight at Suncorp Stadium. The Queensland Reds up against the Melbourne Rebels. Boys back. Looking for the first points. Here's a penalty. Ten red offside, never back. Goes Ten against red. James O'Connor. Marcus hit. First shot of the night, up go the flags, and it is the Melbourne Rebels leading by three points to nil. Here's the shot coming from the Reds. Terrific scrum. And Wilson now gives it. McDermott, Pataya. Pataya! Picks the opening and he scores for the Reds. Jordan Pataya, his third Super Rugby try, first for the season. And his fourth appearance in 2020. His first start in Super Rugby AU after 57 minutes off the bench against the Brumbies a fortnight ago. Chide time, Reds. And O'Connor moves past 600 Super Rugby points. Do you think both teams have been told play, play oh. field position? Oh, uh, yeah, no doubt about that. But now Jock Gamble says, let's have a run. This is what's been missing. And he goes wide to Filippo Dongunu. Puts on some footwork. Deegan is there. He gets one around the corner to Brendan Bayangara Mosa. And he scores a great try for the Queensland Reds. Yes. Finally, someone took them on. It was Jock Campbell, and then it was BPA, Brandon Bang, Ramosa that finished. Watch this, McDermott went back. Jock Campbell just took it, and then off he goes, 65 metres out, past Frank Lamani. He was looking, waiting for someone on his left-hand side. Up comes Felipe Dungunu, and look at him just wait. He wants to throw it, wants to throw it around the corner. Brilliant pass. Brandon Pangramosa goes over for the second try of the Reds. Called for it and got it. O'Connor. He's got it on a string. So that is half time at Suncorp Stadium. 14 points to three. The Reds over the Rebels in Super Rugby AU. Two balls on the field at the moment, but Kellaway got rid of one of them. And so here's the drive, and controlling it at the back now is Issy Nicerani. Needs to be patient. There it is! Oh, it is. Finally! Oh, hold on. Hold on. Yeah, Damon, stick with your on-field decision. It's a knock-on in goal, so it'll be a dropout. Of oh, the third goal line dropout in a row. No Issy Nicerani. It's a knock-on, so it's a line of Being held up goal. a couple of times. That time try line wide open and puts it on James O'Connor's foot and knocks it on. So now O'Connor finally they got some ball and Stewart! Stewart! Getting towards the line, try to the Queensland Reds. Finally they had an opportunity to have a crack on attack and Havy Stewart has come up with the five-pointer. O'Connor takes the line, and Callaway came up, and Hamish Stewart, he had a lot of work to do. He's 35 metres out. That's a really good effort. He gets away from Andrew Deegan. What a try. So this is important now for the Rebels. They need to score a try to deny the Reds the uh, bonus point. And Meeks runs into Scott Young. Out the back it goes, Tuttle dives on it, lays it back. And Nana, he flicks one out, and then they cough it up. They can't finish with a try, the Melbourne Rebels. They can't score a try. All they could score all match was three points with so much possession. Last week they suffered their biggest ever loss to the Waratahs in Super Rugby, 33 points. But somehow they've turned it all around in seven days. Full-time, the Queensland Reds 19, the Melbourne Rebels 3.